You won't have anything that you want a moment sooner than you want to have it. And while the self that you imagine yourself, the small self, may think that it wants something now, there are an infinite number of considerations and variables that go into accounting for what you really want, what your higher self, what your true self wants. So you may want to be rich, but if you're not rich, that's actually what you want. And you may wind up becoming rich or appearing to become rich because there's actually no becoming here. Everything is already done. Everything is complete. Everything that could possibly ever be already exists. So you will be rich. You have been rich many times and you will be rich many times again. But if you're not materially rich right now, then that's what you want. And you won't have it any sooner than you want. No matter how much you kick and scream about it, identified as your small self, wondering why things aren't the way that you want them. The ticket to the end of suffering over this is to accept that whatever's happening is what you want. Because you can have anything you want. You are everything. So you already have everything. But just because you have everything doesn't mean that you manifest everything. If you manifested everything, you wouldn't be able to really give attention to much of it. I mean, you could, but it would be messy. <laughs> it would be crowded. And then it wouldn't because you're infinite, so you could create space for it. But, And I suppose you could create the capacity to be present to all of it. But part of the fun is to zero in, to narrow down, to focus in, to impose limitation, to give yourself the slow reveal, to draw it out, to create distance between yourself and the things that you want, to give yourself the effect of wanting them. You don't want something you already have. I used to say this in videos when I first got into coaching, I used to say this one all the time and I didn't even realize how profound it was. We want what we can't have. That's the old expression, we want what we can't have. But if you think, because if you think about it, if you have something, you don't want it anymore because you already have it. And that is the highest truth is that you have everything. It all exists in the infinite field of possibilities that you are. But I love to reference my little parable that will be a part of my book if I ever get it finished, which I will, and it's done already. And, you know, my critics have already shot it down and celebrated it. And it's been burnt in book burnings and all that stuff. But this parable is called The Story of the Instant Winner. And it goes, there once was an instant winner. They won everything in an instant. The end. Boring story, right? I say it the same way every time. There is nothing to it. There's no challenge to overcome, no adversity, no mountain to climb, no storyline, no plot. You wouldn't go to a movie where you just walked in and the first scene was, you know, the couple that wanted each other. Maybe you'd set it up and say they really want each other. And then the second scene was they got each other and then the credits rolled. Like, fuck that movie. So you draw it out. Just little by little by little, just inch it out. It's just painful. You just torture yourself with the longing. And to make matters even juicier, you, you lose yourself. You forget who you are. You believe yourself to be the small self, which makes it just so much juicier. You just want it so bad. You just want to not be suffering anymore. You just want to figure this out. You want to awaken. You want to get to the end, please. I know, I have. I am you, you are me. 
I begged people, just show me, what am I doing wrong? Why isn't this working? What the fuck can I do to make this go away? Oh, and then you finally figure it out. And it is pretty fucking nice when you figure it out. But it's also a little bit, you know, like maybe just slightly subtly disappointing. Not really, but it's kind of like, you know, going to the Wizard of Oz and seeing behind the curtain. You thought Oz was this big grandiose, you know, God in the sky. And it turns out to be this little man on a stool with a megaphone. You can't unsee it. You're like, damn, can I just go back to pretending that I didn't know what it was? It was so much more powerful then. But then once you know that you can have everything you want, you settle down. You're like, okay, chill out. Just enjoy this. I'm going to get what I want. I might not, I might not get to be rich in this lifetime, but that's what I want. But rich is relative too. So whatever. Anyway, you get everything that you want. And whatever's occurring right now, whatever's appearing to you right now is exactly what you want. Nothing less, nothing more. So chill out, sit back, relax and enjoy having what you want. Because you can't want what you already have. So just having what you have, being who you are. Love. Peace.